Hey, what's up everybody? Boborel here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys all the changes made with the release of update 3.0, Rivals for Vigor. Now, the first thing I'd like to address is the lack of patch notes this week, and only being a community article to get all this information from. This confused me a fair bit, but here I am still making this patch notes video. Alright, so I'm gonna jump right into the meat of things here with the new guns. So the first new gun that was added, and in my opinion the coolest, is the MP5SD. This is a suppressed gold weapon that has a moderately high fire rate with some pretty hefty recoil to it. I think that this gun is actually quite nice. With its recoil pattern, it gives the gun quite a high skill ceiling in comparison to the others. Next we have the new suppressed pistol, the PSS. This is a pistol that in real life is used by Russian special forces during night operations, and it uses its own new ammo type. And the following pattern of two new guns and one old gun is returning. Here we have the SVU, which was last seen in the 0.8 update and has now returned. The SVU's plan can be obtained through standard crate system, while the other two have been locked behind this season's battle pass. But in case you haven't caught on yet, as season ends, new weapons from the last season get integrated into the crate system. So if you didn't get the crossbow plan last season, it's now available in blue crates. Speaking of the battle pass, there's a new one. Season 3 is titled Rivals and has a cops and robbers theme to it, as you can now unlock police and criminal related cosmetics throughout this season. Looking pretty spice. On top of the battle pass, we now have a new game mode as well, known as Shootout. This is a mode targeted for more casual players, as there's no risk and it's just straight firefights for 10 minutes. I would highly suggest trying it out as it is a load of fun. Beyond the actual content this season, there were a number of changes to the UI and gunplay. The main changes to the UI being the new weapon equip screen, the new looting system, and the ability to see your teammates health. Each of these having their own impact on the gameplay. Now, just a bit of disclosure here, I'm about to give my opinion. I think that the new teammate health bar is a pretty solid addition, and it seems that it was integrated pretty naturally, and I don't have any issues with this. But the place where I do have an issue is with the new looting and the new equip screen. The issues with these two things, mainly being the equip screen, is that this removal just forces more use of the left thumbstick. As you can see here, you now have to navigate through a menu as opposed to when you used to be able to just press right bumper or left bumper to switch between ammo, consumables, and weapons. Something that used to be just one button press away is now a navigation through a menu and multiple clicks. Not that this is really a big deal, uh, it's just more annoying to have to do this as opposed to the old method. More so that this wasn't something that needed to be changed, and honestly, I think they should have just left it alone, but I digress. Now, as per usual, there's also a ton of bug fixes that came with this patch, but if I'm gonna be real here, there's no patch notes, so I don't know the specific bug fixes. All I know is that from a little bit of testing, the Scorpion in single fire now has less recoil than it did in auto. Not that it's really gonna matter, as a 7-shot kill in single fire is pretty tough. If the patch notes do end up being posted though, I will have them down in the description. Oh, and if you haven't seen yet, the featured map at the moment is Grantheim Valley, so if you like Grantheim, I'm sure you're a happy camper. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you leave a like, it's greatly appreciated. This one was a bit tougher with no changelog, but I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye bye.